$169 fits in the palm of your hand and DDR5 RAM. But can it game? Here at the Toasty Bros, we love to test mini PCs to see if they can game. And this one coming in at under $200 and being one of the smallest ones we've ever seen, we're really excited to see if it can after work from today's sponsor. We recently took a look at the Waterdrop EDO2 water filter. And while it's amazing, we wanted something a little bit bigger for our office. And that's why Waterdrop decided to sponsor this video and sent us the K19S reverse osmosis system. We love it because it's super convenient to use. Many other RO systems require drilling or hookups to plumbing, but the K19S is ready to use as soon as it's turned on and fits on any countertop due to its compact size. The K19S has a four-stage deep filtration and dual UV sterilizer, efficiently removing many contaminants commonly found in drinking water. Compared to other options, the K19S also makes three cups of filtered water to one cup wastewater, making it a way more economical choice. It also comes with an intelligent display system, showcasing the filter state, TDS level, preset water volume, and more with ease. And in case you're worried about having to change the filter, it's super easy and only takes three minutes. And the filters have a crazy long service life of 12 months. If you're interested in learning more about the K19S or in buying one today, check out the links in the description down below and be sure to check out Waterdrop Filter during Prime Day to save up to 26% off. Big thanks to Waterdrop for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to it. The Nuke Box. The Nuke Box. This is straight from Fallout, ladies and gentlemen. But what we have right here is a really, really tiny mini PC that features a Intel N97 processor, 12 gigs of DDR5 memory, and a 512 Aww. gig SSD that comes in around 170 bucks. And man, this thing is tiny. Oh, it's so cute. And uh, that's one of the things I like that Intel has done is they've kind of done away with the whole Celeron Pentium naming scheme. Oh, it does actually well, say funny. Celeron. It has a Celeron sticker, yeah. but funny thing is with this N97 being just a quad core <laughs> processor, if you look it up, it's just called the Intel N97 processor. It's not a Celeron anymore, but with that sticker, it, it kind of proves it, it is a Celeron. <laughs> they just got rid of the Celeron naming scheme because I would say it does have a bad rap, honestly, as being pretty cheap. Yeah, and which, but the whole PC is really cheap. And wow, this thing is, I mean, this is crazy. This is so small. Uh, we got in the front, a power button. We have two USB 3s. Now this is kind of interesting. We actually have ports on the side as well. We have a micro SD card reader and a Kingston lock. Now in the back, we have a USB type C, which appears to be our power. We have a combo headphone jack, a full size HDMI, an ethernet port, another full size HDMI, and then a USB 3. That's a lot for That's a PC a that fits in the palm of your hand. And in terms of the power adapter, you can take a look at this bad boy. It is USB-C to keep this thing powered. This thing is sipping on watts, I bet 36 though. watts. 36 watts. That's a like Raspberry Pi. Yeah, I don't think we'll get close to pulling that, but yeah, that, that's a good point. This is kind of like a Raspberry Pi that has an Intel processor that has a decent amount of layout and comes with the case already ready to go. Um, one thing I do have to mention is the company that makes this GMK was nice enough to give away a couple of these to you guys using the link down below. So stay tuned Ooh. for more info on that. But if you want a chance to win, links in the description. But what we're gonna go ahead and do um, is maybe we should take it apart a little I bit. Was, see what I it looks like on the inside. It looks easy. You get four screws. Now we'll say the last time we had one this small, <laughs> they did a it was like a Ryzen 7 one where they had stacked layers where it was like two PCBs that are bridged together. And we took it apart. It took forever to put it back together. Yeah. We're not gonna go that far. We'll open it up and see what it looks like. But um, yeah, this is such cool tech being this small and um, having a capable CPU. Yeah, one that can definitely definitely use some office task easily and maybe a little bit of gaming. Maybe a little bit of gaming. I think the big selling point is it's under $200. If this thing was around like the $300 mark, it's kind of a very niche product, but under $200, this could be like a budget office computer for somebody if they really want something super tiny. Right in there. Oh, Boom. Just like that. Oh, look at that little SSD. It's a Hicksimi. <laughs> Hicksimi. So that's a 512 gig and it is one of those like, uh, I can never remember the you know, it's not the 2280, it's 2000 something. Insert number here of yeah. what it is. I'll research it after the fact. And then I see uh, we have our Bluetooth Wi-Fi adapter. And yeah, just like, like we were talking about earlier, I think this is gonna be one of those ones where I don't know if it's necessarily two layers. Yeah, double stacked. It almost looks like, so I see ports that are on the back side and then on the front side of the PCB. So I think it's a single layer, but they have them like, everything is double stacked on the board. But yeah, I mean, that's the basic look at it. Upgradability wise, I guess you could add a bigger SSD. That'd probably be the easiest thing. I would imagine the RAM is soldered just based on yeah. the sheer size. So there's really not much upgrading you can do there. But for under $200, 12 gigs of DDR5 memories are gonna give you an advantage in newer tasks. But of course here at the Toasty Bros, we got a game on it. We gotta see what it can do gaming wise. We're gonna aim like 720p here, but we're gonna play some games on it and uh, just see what it can do. And then talk more about how you can win one of these in the description down below. It's really cool to see mini PCs that are not only small, but pretty affordable and uh, hopefully it can perform. All right, guys, we are playing some Overwatch 2 and we are currently going as low as possible. We got 720p 
and uh, we're running low settings. Uh, we are keeping the dynamic render scale off for now, just so that it's not having to maybe potentially do even more work by trying to lower the render scale. It'll probably look way worse too, honestly. But yeah, this is uh, kind of a worst case scenario. Realistically, if you're gonna game on this, Roblox and Minecraft. <laughs> Don't even think about anything else. But, hey, we gotta test it here, and uh, we were talking about the wattage this thing is pulling. We're only pulling 28 watts locked in uh, with this little uh, mini PC right now. It probably is not great, but I will say it's a little better than I expected for a PC under two hundred dollars. This small, it works. <laughs> it's definitely a little. It's, it's definitely not like works enough to like no. play competitively or anything. But I mean, you know, if you're like like freaking twelve, thirteen, you know, out there just trying to play your first game with some Team Fortress Two, this will work. It'll work. It'll do it. Yeah, I definitely think the place in the market for this, and I think Joan even said off camera, would be someone who just wants a little home theater PC that they can stick in there, behind their like TV and maybe replace like a Fire Stick or like a Roku box or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, it's cool to see these with DDR5 and under $200. My health pack. <laughs> crazy little Oh, oh wow, he's, he's still killing. Do oh, we just get to play the game off wow. that? Wow. <laughs> Team, this going to be easy. We just gotta push the cart, gotta get to the end, and then we win. Instant. She's gonna hit me with this. Just like, I'm gonna Oh, God. Oh, God. It's, like, it's, like, it's, like, oh, God. Oh God. it's I, good. I think the temp's starting to kind of get up there, you know? We need to put a fan on that thing. Just blow into it. Yeah, try that. Let's see what that see, Let's see what automatic. We're doing automatic <laughs> render resolution. To, to aim for 70 FPS. Wonder what Overwatch's built in like minimum is to use that for. Yeah. I mean, we're running native 720p. I don't think you'd at least try to lower it a little bit further, but. You know what? It's it's because it's saying, no, this is play it. Take this, take this. This is the opportunity. Oh. Oh. It was so laggy, I couldn't even tell if I got anyone. You know what? We're gonna develop a new metric from this PC. The FPS per Y. Quit facing me, you're freaking me out. Look, keep your eyes on the objective. Uh-oh. <laughs> got him! Where'd she go? Oh. Oh god. Oh no! Oh. 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 It's not a good ult. I did not hear their soldier ult. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Bro, why why does he want me so bad? This dude's pissing me off. We need to put this thing in an ice bath. I'm coming after everyone now. Nobody's safe. <laughs> I'm coming for you again. Oh, that was no. horrible. I meant to flick around and it didn't work. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh Bob's murking me. No. No, yeah, Bob. Fair. Get hey, him. hold up. Did I got touch? Oh, he's holding on. I'm staying oh, alive. Oh, you got oh. it. Oh no. Where's this Myra at? I can't find her. She's so weak. Oh my god. Oh god. Push it. Yeah, buddy. Wow. This PC was mini and $160. I just changed the price. I forgot what it he was. He just made up a price. Oh, we Endor need to the endorsements. Whatever. You know what, though? They know the mini <laughs> PC was good, so that's what matters. Let's go ahead and test something else out. Next game. All right, guys. We're trying. Trying in Fortnite. Uh, currently on performance mode, pretty much everything's on low. Um, the render scale is at 100% 720p, so I do have room to work there. But <laughs> again, we're testing this in games that are not ideal. Towards the end, you'll see some benchmarks of games that actually might make sense. What is going on with Peter? <laughs> why, why is <laughs> he, he looks all... broken? Oh, he looks so broken. <laughs> oh. Hold on, hold on. Come this kind of run like some of the PCs we built, honestly. Mm -hmm. Honestly, this feels like uh, normal computer builds to me, honestly. Oh, man, yeah, I mean, go down to 70% of 720p. So that smoothed out a bit. Shout out performance. Shout out performance. Oh, I mean, it's not, it's not. Oh, I mean, Mad playable. It's, ha it's having some moments. Oh, this guy's going to mess me up. He seems sweaty. Oh, you're, you're not in these unranked lobbies no more. Oh! oh! Somehow, some way. Put some nitro in my belly. Bust through the walls. Oh, yeah! No! Yeah. Oh, yeah! Oh, God. All right. If I were a bot. Oh. Ranker, ranker. Oh, that thing's gonna blow. Oh! No! Oh! Ethan Blitz. When did that stop? Callister, Fortnite recording two. You can do something goofy about how, like, the SD card got full and then that recording stopped and I had to re -queue. I died anyways, so. Guys, our capture card was capturing such high quality gameplay, it just couldn't handle it anymore. happening in here. Oh, it's 
Oh! Oh god. Is that the Madel Man? The Magnet Man himself? Oh no. I think that's a great way to end Fortnite, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it got better. Again, I would not buy this as your primary gaming system, but if you had this PC and you wanted to see its capabilities, hey, look, it looks pretty good. And as a little home theater computer, I think as a place in the market, let's go ahead and run some other tests, see what else it can do, and then I'll wrap this video up real quick. Mini PC has been benchmarked, and surprisingly, it does actually game. Now, you do have to know what you're doing in the settings because you gotta go 720p or lower if that is an option, but the fact that we can play eSports titles is very cool, but don't even try to touch AAA titles. Wouldn't recommend it at all. This is really kind of a game streaming box. If you are gonna play AAA titles, maybe streaming from like a high-end gaming PC to your living room TV would be kind of cool use for something like this. But we did test it in some other games. We threw CS2 at it, 720p low settings, only get about 40 to 50 FPS on average. Wouldn't recommend for competitive gaming. In terms of Minecraft, we did keep it on 720p with six chunk render distance. It was a bit stuttery at the start, but we ended up getting 200 plus FPS at 720p once everything loaded in, so honestly, 1080p Minecraft, perfectly fine on this little guy. And then we ran some 3D Mark benchmarks. We ran Steel Nomad Lite, which is the light edition of the new Steel Nomad benchmark. And we ended up with a score of just 322, which I think we averaged like two FPS during that benchmark, wasn't great. And then the last one we ran was 3D Mark Night Raid, which is the APU benchmark and got a score of 5,704. So all in all, for it being this small, the performance you get is actually pretty crazy. DDR5 and the price point at under $200, very respectable. And uh, yeah, there's a chance you could win one these by using the link down below. We are doing the giveaway, so shout out to GMK for hooking you guys up with the giveaway along with sending this over for a video. But let us know what you think of this tiny PC in the comments down below. Would you rock one for your main PC? So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other T YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. subscribe. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace. Now, PCBros.tech will have this little mini PC for sale, but what if you want a bigger PC? What if you want a gaming PC? We can't do that. Yeah. Just kidding, we got all the PCs you want at PCBros.tag from high-end gaming PCs with 4090s if you want it, all the way to tiny little computers like this. Use code TOSTYBROS on checkout, you'll save 3% your next purchase. See you guys later, bye-bye.